Hi there, good morning everybody. I'm on a little bit early actually, so um, there probably isn't going to be anybody tuning in just yet. Um, but yeah, just that I pop on a couple of minutes early to try and get my camera right. Um, I'll seem a bit low, don't I? Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, I've still not mastered how to do the uh, live on landscape, which I did have a few weeks ago, but now I just can't seem to do it. So um, rather than starting off the wrong way round, I'm going to start off the right way round. So hi, morning. Hi. <laughs> how have you all been this week? Good, I hope. So I'm a bit low. I was just saying that um, I've not managed to get back to landscape again, so I'm doing it portrait. Hope you're all doing okay and have had a good week. Let me know um, who's who's on, who's watching. Um, at any point through the live then please do um, shout if you've got any questions and say hi. Um, it's good to actually have a two-way sort of conversation rather than me thinking I'm talking to myself. Um, I've had an interesting week. I've got a new little adorable kitten this week. Um, he was going to go to the rescue, so decided to adopt, and he's called Boots. So Lola finds it very interesting having a pussycat around. So he's going to be by the side of me. Hi, morning, Ashley. Hi. Morning, Alinda. Hope you're doing okay. What's the weather like where you are? I'm actually in today rather than outside. Morning, Maya. Yeah, I know. Isn't he adorable? He's adorable. Um, yeah, it's absolutely pouring outside, so I can't sit in my nice part of the garden um, and I get some fresh air, but I'm actually in today, so what's the weather like where you are? Right, okay, without further ado, um, obviously I'm going to continue with my product of the week. I feel really, really low. I should perhaps sit on something. Bear with me a sec. Oh, that's a little bit better. That's better. I don't feel like I'm actually sat at the bottom of my screen. Yeah, so without further ado, obviously we are going to be continuing with um, our product of the week. So this week um, I'm going to be talking about our Carmen Collector, which is a light blue bottle. Now it's quite um, apt at the moment because obviously with um, lockdown easing off a little bit and everybody uh, returning to work, getting back to a little bit of normality again. Hi, morning. Hi. Um, yeah, obviously we are, morning Catherine, we are in a situation where obviously our dogs um, are going to be feeling a little bit of anxiety perhaps about their changing routine. Um, obviously dogs thrive on um, routine the whole time, so to actually be kind of going from, I mean we've changed quite a lot haven't we over the months, so obviously we were working, then we're actually at home spending a lot more time going out walking, giving them extra cuddles, treats. They obviously become used to us being around the whole time. So now we're actually having to revert back. And thankfully, morning Hazel, thankfully, oh, John Kitty's falling. Oh, thankfully, um, the lockdown is easing and we're, we're transitioning back to um, obviously, you know, uh, hopefully things getting back to a bit more normality. So it's throughout that sort of like transition that we need to be thinking a little bit more about obviously the anxiety and stress levels that um, our dogs perhaps, or even our pussycats, um, all of our animals are actually going through. So um, yeah, a little bit about obviously social and um, separation anxiety, because the two really sort of go hand in hand. Um, you might have been walking your dog a lot more, but obviously social distancing, so your dog isn't able to interact with other dogs uh, like they normally would. So obviously it's, it's, all, it's all very kind of like strange for them. So going back to that again, they're probably gonna be feeling a little bit stressed and anxious. So separation anxiety, social anxiety um, are a big thing at the moment. Um, the Calm and Collected um, obviously works on all levels of stress and anxiety. So not just necessarily for the separation, which obviously they're all going through at the moment, um, but also uh, like travel related stress. So um, if you, your dog doesn't travel very well in the car, like doesn't like the crate, um, event related stress. So if you're taking your dog to the groomers um, or you are taking your dog to the vet or even like before competing, uh, we sell a lot of our calm and collected to uh, working dogs. So agility, fly ball, gun dogs, uh, so sometimes they can get a little bit anxious before they go in the ring, before they compete. So it's ideal to actually calm uh, before an event. 
So what are the kind of symptoms really of um, kind of like anxiety, especially separation anxiety, which obviously we're going to focus on a little bit more today. So we've got lots and lots. Um, it's obviously the barking, whining, if you're leaving your dog for the length of periods of time that uh, you were before lockdown. Um, they would have obviously got used to you being around, so they might be a little bit, well, where are you? Because obviously there, there are certain triggers where they kind of go, oh, well, I know you're here, but now you're not. So um, barking and whining, being a bit destructive, perhaps, um, chewing things more than, than, than they would before. Um, uh, wanting obviously constant reassurance so it's obviously from a behavioral point of view it's important to keep your dog calm and relaxed and just reassure them the whole time uh, the transition actually going obviously from you know from lockdown and being around the whole time to then not being it's a good idea to have a phased approach so just pretty much you know try and leave your dog for longer periods of time get those triggers back in place so you know they understand when you're doing things um, like picking up your car keys, just kind of obviously going out, um, just kind of make sure that you are making those lengths of time a little bit longer each time. Um, so obviously from a, um, a kind of like a an emotional point of view, they know kind of what, what's sort of happening and that will reduce a lot of the separation anxiety. Um, physical contact, obviously we all love our dogs, we all love our animals, so it's important to, like I say, keep reassuring the whole time. Um, they can, uh, aggression can be another one, so obviously if they're not been um, around other dogs for a while, they might be a little bit more um, uncertain or a bit snappy. Um, low immunity and digestive dysfunction as well, so obviously when our dogs or our animals are feeling that bit more anxious, uh, they do get upset tummies um, like we do really, so um, the digestion is, is something to actually um, to, to make sure that we are kind of like looking after. Morning, Emma. His boots. Didn't tell you about him yesterday. Didn't have time. <laughs> so yes, an addition. Um, yeah. So so pretty much, um, you know, it's it's important to to kind of like make sure that you're feeding a, a good diet because obviously nutrition is a big big thing with behaviour. So um, I talk a lot about um, sort of like fresh feeding. Uh, so it's important to make sure you're feeding a lot of foods that are um, nutritious. Uh, one thing about Proflax is that it is a functional food as well. So it differs a little bit to a lot of supplements. It's actually got a nutritional element to it as well. Yeah, he's gorgeous. Um, so yeah, you'll be obviously feeding a fresh diet and then adding Proflax, which will add to the nutritional sort of like aspect of it. Um, try and avoid obviously any chemicals those kind of things which is something I always kind of like talk about anyway so stop it an important actually aspect of um, of keeping um, your animal your dog um, calm is to feed adaptogens as well so we always use adaptogens within our formulas they actually help to promote homeostasis so that means that if your um, dog is is feeling obviously very, very anxious, it helps to promote um, emotional stability. So if your dog is very, very kind of like hyper or even under par, it will help to bring um, that emotion back to the norm. So back to some sort of stability. So again, that's really important because any supplements, it's, it's fine kind of feeding supplements, but unless you're actually dealing, especially with obviously emotional sort of problems, to be feeding adaptogens within the diet as well. So within our Calm and Collected, we have four. Um, I'll be going through all of the ingredients now. Obviously, we use the uh, flaxseed oil as well. That makes up 75% of the formula, and that helps with all aspects of health, really. So you are looking at it helping with skin and coat condition, um, digestion, mobility, heart, brain, um, so yeah, it, it also helps to um, to modulate immune function as well. So it's it's really good. It helps for cell regeneration. So for lots and lots of things. So even though you're getting a, a product that's going to help calm your dog, um, it also will help with all of those other aspects of health. So you'll find that um, the skin and coat and mobility will improve even on the Calm and Collected blend. Um, so let's go through the herbs one by one, which I normally do. I'm not going to bang on, morning Nikki, about nutrition, because obviously they do contain a lot of elements of um, vitamins and minerals, um, obviously as any functional food would. Um, so yeah, you can be rest assured that it actually has all of the, the nutrients in it as well. 
um, all of the herbal formulas are 100% um, cold um, cold pressed, 100% um, uh, active formulas. So basically they are in their active state. They are tinctures um, and they've been pressed in like a one to one, one to two concentration. So they work really, really fast. Um, lots of calming products. You generally have to wait quite a while to, for the, to actually see the product work. But with ours, um, we've even had uh, situations where um, a dog is going competing and in the morning you can actually uh, give calm and collected and then obviously by the afternoon maybe when they're competing it will actually have calmed them down quite considerably so again you know if you're thinking um, about obviously doing the whole phased approach um, with the separation you can give calm and collected um, sorry I'm being scratched you can give the calm and collected um, maybe the night before in the morning before you're actually going to to go out and leave your dog for any length of time and it will help to keep them calm and relaxed um, so the first ingredient we have is skullcap. There are two types of skullcap. One's called skullcap biocal and one's called skullcap lateriflora. Um, they kind of work very differently and we use skullcap lateriflora, which actually is a, it's a nervine herb, which basically actually helps them to relax and strengthen the nervous system um, and reduces anxiety. So it works on the nervous system very naturally, very calming without actually knocking your dog out because that's the last thing you want is for them to be um, just poleaxed. You actually want them just to be calm um, and, and relaxed. Um, it, um, skullcap also um, helps the body heal from stress um, and it's an antioxidant and an analgesic. So it again helps just that relaxation uh, and it keeps the heart healthy as well. Because obviously when we're stressed, our heart rate rises, um, so it's important to um, not necessarily like, reduce the heart rate, but just keep the heart healthy and keep the heart um, not, obviously, with the adrenaline, not kind of like pumping quite so much. The next one we have got is Withania, um, which is a, another name for Withania is Ashwagandha. So some people might have heard of it by that name rather than um, rather than Withania. It's an adaptogen. That's one of the adaptogens I was talking about to actually help to promote homeostasis. Um, it's a great muscle relaxant. It reduces any inflammation. So it's it's um, it's it's great if your your dog obviously is is um, kind of like feeling over overstressed and that can create an inflammatory response. Um, it's an antioxidant. Um, all of our herbs are real powerful antioxidants as well. And it regulates the immune system. Because obviously when um, we are under stress, our immune system is under stress as well. And then obviously when the immune system is under stress, you then get other um, problems. So you can get obviously digestive dysfunction um, and skin and coat issues. So it can actually trigger sort of like sensitivities as well. So it's really important to make sure that the immune system is actually functioning really, really well. Yeah. Um, it has a positive effect on blood cells, um, with Anya as well. So again, that's really um, good from a health point of view. Uh, next one is chamomile. Now we all know about chamomile. Chamomile is fantastic. It's it's really good. It's relaxing, calming, and soothing. Um, also helps to aid digestion. So like I was saying, you know, if feeling quite anxious, it, it just helps to uh, relieve any sort of like digestive upsets that your dog might have. Um, it's antibacterial and antifungal as well. So that's really really good. Then we have astragalus. I know Emma loves astragalus. Um, it's um, pretty much one of our support herbs. We use it in a few of our formulas because it's a, again, it's an adaptogen, so helps to um, promote the homeostasis. And it supports good energy and stamina. So obviously we, we call our product Calm and Collected because it helps them to um, aid focus. So obviously if your dog is feeling very stressed, they, it's hard for them to, to maintain that sort of light focus. So it just really helps to support their concentration so if they are going out they can socialize a little bit better with other dogs um, and they just don't feel so panicked really so um, astragalus is really really good for that uh, helps with mental clarity metabolism and also it's a great healer um, and again it strengthens the immune system so that's really really good um, it's antiviral and it's got um, anti-diabetic properties as well um, so astragalus is, is brilliant um, full of flavonoids um, turmeric, 
uh, we pop turmeric in um, the Carmen Collector because, like I say, we actually sell a lot of our product to um, Agility and Flyborn and, and Gundog. Um, so therefore, they're, when they are going competing, it just helps to support bones and joints as well. Um, and again, uh, turmeric aids digestion, so it's it's really good from a digestive point of view. Um, go to cola which is Centella Asiatica. So that's another great support herb. And that again is an adaptogen and that helps with uh, circulation and blood vessel flow. Um, so it supports a really healthy nervous system. Because again, when our dogs get really stressed, the nervous system is under stress as well as their immune system. So everything sort of goes in overdrive. So it really just helps to, um, to, to kind of like support the nervous system and blood vessels, etc. cetera. Um, and it's great for collagen production as well so working dogs it really will help to support the the whole uh, musculoskeletal system um, ginger is the next one on the list um, and ginger really promotes good circulation as well and it reduces um, any high blood pressure um, it won't interfere if your dog is actually taking um, blood pressure medication it will just really help um, to just kind of like I can bring that 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 hyperness down if your dog is feeling really really um, under stress, and it reduces inflammation and keeps the bones really really strong. So ginger is a fantastic one. There's quite a lot actually on social media at the minute about ginger, um, so that's that's a good one. And then we finish off with licorice, and licorice um, we use in most of our formulas. It is it's fantastic. It aids respiration. Again, helps with the immune system. Um, and um, it reduces stress. So there's lots of herbs in our blend that actually really help to uh, to reduce stress and helps with digestion as well. Emma, can you use Proflax mix with other remedies? Um, you can, yes. One thing that we actually say is don't use if um, there are any crossover in the herbs at all, because like I say, we actually use really high, high concentration of um, herbal tinctures. So, I've actually got a tincture here I can show you, which is there. That's kind of like the form it's in. So it's they're all in like their liquid state um, from Biodynamic Farm. So they are really, really strong. So I, I wouldn't suggest you actually cross over in any of the herbs. Um, but if if you're feeding any um, herbs that don't cross over, then that's absolutely fine. I would probably suggest that you, if you're feeding twice a day, feed the prophylax in one of the meals and then feed the other herbs in the um, the other meal, the other side of the day. Um, just really because all of our uh, herbal formulas kind of work from a synergistic point of view. So they actually help with that balance. Um, and the way they've all been formulated is to actually do that. So it might be a good idea just to kind of like feed on, on different meals. Um, sorry, it's saying Seymour. So let me see what else you said. Um, greens, home tea. Yeah, the teeth mix is absolutely fine. That's not a problem at all. And obviously, like I get asked a question quite a lot with Billy No Mates, um, obviously flea and tick prevention and things. And, and again, that, that's fine. There's no crossover with herbs there at all. Um, it can be taken, like I said earlier, with um, medication. Um, obviously, if your dog is on lots of medication, it's always advisable to check with your vet first, um, just to make sure and take a list of the ingredients of the herbs that you're that, that's in in the product of your choice. So just to make sure um, that your vet is actually happy with that. But generally, obviously, we work with Dr. Nick Thompson, holistic vet. Um, and Nick formulates all of our blends, so they are. We specifically pick the herbs that pretty much are, are very, very safe uh, with any medication alongside. Um, feed over eight weeks. So if you've got a puppy, it's absolutely fine. Um, don't feed to dogs that are pregnant. Um, flaxseed oil, um, just the way that it works, it's not great if your dog, because uh, obviously like hormones and things, um, it's, and, and if your dog is taking blood thinners or modulators, again, we wouldn't suggest that you feed Proflax either. Um, but if, if in any doubt at all, then we always say check with your vet. You can um, rotate as well. So if you've got a really old dog um, that you feel needs the bone and joint support, um, you can uh, rotate so you can feed bone and joint one day and calm and collected the next and just rotate like that. Um, if your dog is taking another bone and joint supplement, like with glucosamine, chondroitin, hyaluronic acid, those kind of things, then again, it's absolutely fine to give alongside of that because the, the, the ingredients just work very, very differently to uh, to lots of others. Um, but like I say, just it's just with the herbal ingredients, you just need to be a little bit careful. 
Um, dosage wise, feeding wise, uh, we say if you if you've got a real a dog that's got a real kind of like um, acute problem. So if you're leaving your dog and it's getting very very anxious, then you can actually do something called load the dose which means that rather than feed one meal to every two kilos of dog's weight, which is what the recommended amount is, you can, um, you can load it. So you could do one meal to every one kilo of dog's weight. So that would be like a 20, mil, a 20 kilogram dog, 20 mil. And you can do that for about seven days and then obviously drop down to, um, you know, drop down to the recommended one meal to every two kilos um, ongoing for a little while. And then as we say with all of our formulas, take a break. Um, if you're concerned about taking a break, because you can see how well that Calm and Collected is working, and you're thinking, oh, blimey, I don't, really don't want to stop this, um, you can go on to one of our other formulas called Immunity and Vitality, which has a couple of crossover of the support herbs that, again, will help to um, relieve some of that anxiety. Um, but obviously, Calm and Collected is specifically for dogs that are very anxious um, and stressed. Morning, Claire. Um, so, morning, I love all your products. I have used Calm and Collective Skin and Cat Immunity and Vitality, Liver Love. Wow. Uh, and just ordered Tummy Tastic. That's wonderful, Claire. That's wonderful. How did you find you got on with the Calm and Collected? Uh, we, have, we do have some really, really great reviews. And like I say, it works really fast. Um, I would recommend a break of um, a week, a week or two, really. Um, because as with any um, kind of like food ingredient, which ours are, your dog can become a bit desensitized to it. So, you know, it's, you hear about, you know, um, supplements actually working and then they, they're kind of like, they, they keep them on the supplement for a long, long time. And then they kind of say, oh, I don't think it works anymore. Um, it's because your dog will actually, like us really, you know, if you take the same thing time and time again, um, you, you can become um, a bit sensitive to it. So you do need that bit of a break. Uh, do I have any more questions at all? Um, like I say, it works really, really fast. How often would you recommend giving a break phase asking? I would say every, every 12 weeks, that's what we say. So every maximum of 12 weeks, um, pretty much because of the way that our formulas work. And, you know, I don't really agree with having to feed supplements permanently forever. Um, I, I do kind of think that it's important to get the diet correct and obviously be feeding a very you know healthy fresh diet and then obviously proflax can be used just to support that um, and you can like I say do it preventative as well you can feed any of our formulas preventative and do it every couple of days and then again take that break or like I say if it's more acute you can be feeding um, a little bit more um, right at the outset and then dropping down to the um, to the preventative and then having that break um, Right, Claire is saying really well. I noticed a difference within days. So much more chilled. Liver love cleared up his yeast infection. Oh, that's marvellous. Yeah, yeah. The liver love and the tummy tassica together are working like really, really well. But yes, yeah, liver love is, is great. Um, so I'm really, really pleased to hear that. Um, but yes, if any of you obviously want to, to give it a go, we've got three size bottles um, as we have with all, all of our oils. So the 250 is like 13.95. And if you want to see that if it actually works, um, which generally within like i say if you load the dose within a day or so um but all of our formulas kind of work quite quick within five to seven days um, so even a small bottle with a bigger dog you will actually get to see what a difference it will actually make so i think that's it i've been rabbiting on i hope i've not missed anybody let me have a look I don't think I have. Right, but I mean, if any of you've got um, any questions at all, then obviously you can pop them in the comments and I will reply to you. Or you can always just, I always say, just give me a, a call. I'm quite happy just to, to chat on the phone if you've got any sort of like specific issue. I mean, some, some dogs are just more kind of like, um, you know, sensitive. Um, some breeds just actually are more anxious by nature so Calm and Collected is, is great for those as well but pretty much yes yeah, separation anxiety social anxiety so with other dogs crates um, before going to um, any um, event or vets or groomers it will it will work um, really really quite fast so it's it's a great 
good all-rounder for just reducing anxiety in your dog. It won't knock them out. I know some, um, I've had some people actually say that um, they are feeding um, other herbs and they find that their dog is really, really just like whacked out. Um, but it won't do that. It will just take the edge off um, and just enable them to think. Have a, just, just think about, obviously when we get very stressed and anxious, we kind of get our adrenaline pumps and you, you very much are feeling kind of on the edge. It just takes that down and enables them to really have that focus and concentration just to, to give it some thought about what they're actually doing. So it's not a miracle cure. You know, people actually say it's, it's the dog is sometimes a little bit sensitive, but it just really, really helps to reduce that state of anxiety and stress. Um, so, and obviously also like loud noises, fireworks night, anything like that, you can feed it the night before the morning, actually before fireworks night, and it will actually help for, for the evening. So you're very welcome. Thank you too for, for tuning in. Um, any of my stockies that are actually on, please do share this live on your group. Um, cause obviously, you know, it's, it's good for people to, to understand what kind of what's out there. So next week I'll be talking about the bone and joint and hopefully not getting scratched to bits. <laughs> Little teeth. Um, so yeah, bone and joint next week I'll be chatting about. Um, obviously lots of people kind of use um, products, like I said earlier, you know, with um, glucosamine, chondroitin, those kind of things. So tune in to find out how the herbal, the natural bone and joint can actually help. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. I hope you all um, have a really good Saturday and enjoy the rest of your weekend. It's clearing up here a bit, so hopefully we'll get a bit of sunshine. And I will, hold on a minute, I've just seen somebody else. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, no worries. Well, okay, brilliant. Well, I'm gonna go anyway, um, rather than just keep rambling on, and um, I will catch you all very, very soon. Thank you for tuning in. Take care.